on this episode of Inside the Blueprint. Managing your company's finances, flooring innovations for retailers, commercial cleaning technologies that can help improve your business, the latest in recycling, printing and design, cosmetic tools, giving back, and lots more. Let's go Inside the Blueprint. When it comes to your company's financials, the more you know, the better. There's Eric McLaughlin. I am a CPA in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been in practice a little over 22 years. Can't believe it's been that long. And we provide uh, accounting and tax services to a variety of businesses, including doctors and attorneys and real estate professionals. It's very important to hire the right CPA because we help both with taxes and with accounting, preparing financial statements that you'll need for various things that you need to do in your business. When you look at hiring a tax professional, the goal is, and the way you think about it is, the benefit far outweighs the cost. You might pay me $1,000 to come up with a tax plan for you that will save you tens of thousands of dollars every year. I hired Eric because of competency. I hired someone that took the time to understand my business and made sure I had everything I needed to grow and be successful. And so what Eric does is takes the thing from our business that gives us the most amount of stress and makes it easy. That's the power of having a really good accountant at your side. Many people think that CPAs only prepare tax returns. Not true. It's definitely not just about tax returns. In fact, a lot of the work that we do deals with entity structures, or what they call entity maximization. Should I be an LLC or an Inc.? Should I be an S Corp or a C Corp or a partnership? That is just one example of how a CPA can help you figure out which structure is gonna be right for you. Other ways that we help uh, our clients, particularly is really with tax strategies, tax uh, minimization, putting money into retirement, making sure that you're tracking all your expenses to make sure that you minimize your taxes. We help clients with preparing financial statements. Well, Eric is, uh, is a partner that looks at everything financial. When we look at where we're trying to grow, uh, whether it be just our general accounting, uh, he's there to be part of that conversation. When we start talking about uh, acquiring new business and creating new opportunities, he's there to project where we're going based on where we're at. When financial statements are presented, the individual who needs to use those financials needs to be able to place some reliance on those numbers. And so therefore, when they see a CPA simply associated with the numbers, in our world, we have different levels of assurance we provide on financials, but when they simply see a CPA behind the name of individual associated with the numbers, they have more confidence that the numbers are prepared in a, some type of format where they can have trust in those numbers. And some out of the box thinking can go a long way. The advantage of putting yourself on payroll, the one that I primarily tell clients is the ability to go after funding for a mortgage or for a car or other financing where they're saying, how much did you make? If you are on payroll and get a W-2, a pay stub, it is easier for the financing company to provide the financing versus if you're not on payroll, they have to ask for more documentation to be able to provide you that same financing. Another out-of-the-box tip is to put your children on payroll. The ability to turn what would be an allowance into a deduction on a tax return is a big benefit and can help minimize your taxes. I also like to advise clients to actually buy a company car. Buy a car through the business. If you use it 100% for business, you can take 100% write-off. If you use it less than that, you can still take a percentage of the write-off through the business and reduce your taxes. My final tip would be, go find a CPA. You want to be ahead in terms of dealing with your tax situation, being proactive versus reactive so that you can take the steps ahead of time to minimize your tax situation. One of the things that we talk about is there are three people that you don't mess with, and that's the I, the R, and the S. And Erica keeps us well in line with that organization while making sure that we have great, great accounting and financial numbers. For more information about how Eric McLaughlin can help you, visit ericmclaughlinllc.com. 
And of course, visit our website at InsideTheBlueprint.com. Think about the flooring in our homes. Is it functional, stylish, both? Not all flooring is created equally. So let's find out how retailers can offer the right flooring for every taste, budget, and lifestyle. Hi, I'm uh, uh, Candice Drew. I'm the CEO of the company. We wholesale flooring. We also manufacture ourselves in the overseas. We sell to many retailers throughout the whole United States. We differ from other wholesale because we manufacture ourselves, we specialize product development, and uh, we control the logistics. So our cost is low, and we have great customer service. Let's tour the Create Flooring by Much See showroom. We specialize SPC products, and we do have laminate engineer and solid wood. Also, we have some accessories, moldings like carry most of our products in that too big display. Candace came to the U.S. at age 22 and has been working hard ever since. Hers is a woman-owned business. She really knows flooring and can help retailers in Atlanta and beyond grow their business. I got interested because my family was in, uh, my family is in their manufacture side. So I was born with it. Then I learned from the years I've been around with it. We have most advanced equipment, and we specialize at uh, the film design. We use the 3D uh, scanning and uh, printing. We manufacture laminate flooring, uh, engineer flooring, also SPC flooring. With over 10 million square feet of inventory, retailers are sure to find what they need. So a customer can get a benefit from the cost side, can benefit from the inventory side. We want to invite you to come to visit our showroom, and uh, can invite you to meet us. We are here to support you. We are here to manufacture for you. We are here to solve your problem. We have a, a wide, wide line for you to choose, and we have a lot of inventory on the, on the ground. We have many containers on the way. So call us, we don't have supply issue. We do uh, here to help you. For more information about how Create Flooring by Much See can help grow your flooring business, visit their website, createflooring.com. And of course, visit our website, insidetheblueprint.com. When it comes to commercial cleaning services, you want your provider to show up with more than just a broom and a dust rag. That's where Clean Streak Services comes in. We provide custom tailored cleaning services to many industries and businesses in the metro Atlanta area and the southeast. Some of the industries that we serve, automotive companies, medical, industrial, commercial, and a little bit of residential. Today we're at the Bentley store in Roswell, Georgia. And our, our typical bespoke cleaning plan for this particular store includes a daily clean of the floors, the glass, the bathrooms, and then a nightly clean of all the service areas and shops. True commercial cleaning should include sanitizing, carpet cleaning, and other detail services. A lot more to cleaning a building than just mopping floors and showing up and wiping off countertops. We've got shops in the back with lots of different fluids that have to be cleaned. We have bathrooms that need to be sanitized. We've got glass that needs to be cleaned. So there, there's, there's a lot more to it uh, than just showing up and wiping down some surfaces. Customers typically ask us to clean not only their floors and the glass and the shops and the service areas, but that also includes pressure washing, sanitizing, and some deeper cleaning of certain areas as well. Their customized approach helps keep you focused on your business. At Clean Streak Services, we offer all of our customers a bespoke cleaning solution based on the needs of their facility. As you can imagine, a Bentley dealership is going to differ from a doctor's office as far as the type of cleaning that's required on a daily basis. 
for example, you don't need to steam clean carpets every day. You focus on areas that have differing levels of, of foot traffic through the facility, whatever they are, and, and address those that are higher traffic areas on a daily basis, or perhaps on a more than daily basis, multiple times a day, you address other areas as needed. The sanitary element is an incredibly important part of, of the commercial cleaning process here. For instance, we use different color rags for the bathroom and the kitchen because you don't want cross-contamination between those two environments. Another example is, is making sure you always use the appropriate cleaning solution. So we have different color bottles with different types and strengths of solution so you can focus on using the right product in the right area. Also, having a clean location makes a good impression and could improve your business. First impressions are incredibly important. As you can imagine, walking into a, any sort of facility, office, car dealership, doctor's office, restaurant, you want the place to look clean. That's a reflection of the quality of the business, regardless of the type of business it is. Another example is if you were to walk into a restaurant and walk into the bathroom and the bathroom is dirty, your next thought is, is the kitchen clean? And it makes you second guess your decision to eat there. At Clean Street, we have an incredibly high customer retention rate because of our attention to detail and our continuous communication with all of our customers. So when you're serious about hiring the right cleaning service, Clean Streak Solutions promises never to leave you in the dust. At Clean Street, we're working hard to professionalize what has historically been a less professional industry, and we're excited to continue to build out our presence across the Southeast. It's always been our passion at Clean Streak Services to provide you the best solutions possible for not only your employees, but your customers. We look forward to seeing you soon, and we really hope you reach out to us. For more information about how Clean Streak Services can work for you, visit their website, cleanstreakllc.com. And of course, visit our website at insidetheblueprint.com. A company that actually puts construction waste back to work? It's true. Meet the innovators at Metro Green Recycling. Here at Metro Green Recycling, we take in construction and demolition waste from construction projects around Metro Atlanta. We repurpose that material, create products, and put that material back to work. We opened this facility in 2012, the second facility in 2014, a third facility in 2020, and it includes a construction and demolition landfill that we also opened in 2020 to uh, handle what we can't recycle. Here's how they do it. There is two sides to the business. One side is the aggregate side where we take in concrete, make construction products. The other side is construction demolition debris where we recycle wood, cardboard, metal, aggregates, that type of material. We do not accept white goods, refrigerators, washing machines, asbestos tires, that sort of material. What happens next is a game changer. Any of the inbound loads that come in are weighed in at our scale house. The concrete is then dumped in a designated area of our yard where it's sorted and prepped to be put through our crushing plant, which is essentially a series of different types of crushing equipment and screens that sort the material into different sized products to sell back to our customers. Some of the products we make are recycled 57 stone, our recycled GAB, which is state DOT approved and used by many of our paving customers for road base on subdivisions, parking lots, highways, and that sort of thing. We also make 34 stone, which is a construction entrance size stone, and uh, screened fill dirt as well. Now, we strongly believe why bury it in a landfill if it can be reused. We've been doing this for 10 years now, and I hope that our customers trust that they're buying the highest quality recycled concrete materials available from us. We have a lot of quality control measures in place to ensure that extraneous materials are not getting into our product to sell to our customers. Our customers range from anybody like you or me doing a project in our backyard all the way up to some of the largest paving and grading and site work contractors in the state of Georgia. So what can become of the debris they collect that would otherwise end up in a landfill forever? So since we began in 2012, the amount of CND waste that we have recycled would fill the Mercedes-Benz Stadium over three times. Now that has also saved us over 600,000 tons of CO2 from the atmosphere. We've recycled enough cardboard to save over 110,000 trees. We have recycled enough construction and demolition wood to power 96,000 homes for one year. We have salvaged enough scrap metal that goes for recycling to save over 100 million gallons of gasoline. 
And also we have crushed and recycled enough concrete to pave a road from Atlanta to North Dakota. I think there is a need for facilities like our in urban areas with landfills being 40, 60 miles away. Someone can use a facility like ours, not use as many trucks. Also, it prevents illegal dumps. It gives people an area or a place to go to get rid of their construction waste. What I find most interesting in what I do is material that comes in as some ugly waste that someone doesn't want. We'll actually make a product out of it and create something of value. I think it's encouraging for contractors to use this type of facility. Instead of putting the waste in the landfill and uh, we're actually reusing it, sustaining our, our landfill space and it's beneficial for, uh, for both economic and personal purposes. Recycling, recreating, renewing. For more information about Metro Green Recycling, visit their website, mgrecycle.com. And of course, visit our website, insidetheblueprint.com. Is your organization ready to take fundraising to the next level? It's time to partner with a company that knows how to help you get the most from your philanthropy efforts. For any organization, nonprofit or otherwise, uh, you can kind of change the bottom line, change the, the cash flow in just a, a few ways. Uh, one is you can reduce your expenses. You can provide less for your community. Two, you can charge more. Um, and for healthcare organizations, that's basically not an option. And three, uh, you can raise the money. You can, you can focus on philanthropy. It's the fastest, most cost efficient to bring more money into the organization and provide more services for the community. Since 1925, Pride Philanthropy has been helping nonprofit organizations maximize their fundraising potential. Our family's been uh, fundraising for, for generations, 95 years now and, and counting. Obviously very honored that my family's been doing that for so long. And because every organization, every nonprofit, every charity is so unique, uh, so we take a lot of time uh, to really make sure that we're set uh, to recommend, you know, what are the first steps we have to do? What do we have to do right now that in six months we'll start yielding revenue? We understand that your staff time and your availability is very, very limited. Here are the things you're already doing that we can adjust slightly so you're not having to work any harder at what you're already trying to do to accomplish your mission uh, and provide for your community. Pride has done a lot of philanthropy work with SSM Health, a nonprofit healthcare system with over 11,000 providers. Being a nonprofit smaller hospital is really challenging these days. You've got really high cost for charitable care. We struggle with reimbursement rates, period. That means that philanthropy is really going to be the catalyst for how we get new programs or new services, sometimes even improvements to the hospitals. Pride Philanthropy, they really help me create the resources that I might need, but I don't necessarily have the time to create. They're really good at helping shops become just really good well-oiled machines, no matter what size they are. By helping organizations raise more money, Pride Philanthropy is able to help communities all over the United States. So Pride Philanthropy will come in, uh, work with your development staff, work with your leadership team, uh, your board, your volunteers, everybody who's engaged in the fundraising process, and uh, help optimize your efforts uh, and give you access to our long list of clients uh, to provide for our communities. Our most recent campaign was for the uh, People's Cancer Center, um, absolutely gorgeous facility. Uh, our, our initial fundraising goal for that um, over uh, a three to five year, we had that kind of time frame was eight million, raised it to 10 and then again 12 and now we just uh, hit the 13 million dollar mark. So we're really, really proud of that. Uh, amazing facility, um, beautiful architecture and just what an asset for that community. What sets Pride Philanthropy apart is their commitment to their clients and to their employees. Uh, we have monthly or, or sometimes every six weeks uh, fundraising training. We'll take a focused topic and train staff, CEOs, volunteers on a, a specific fundraising topic. So they can go back to their organization afterwards with a lot of the tools that we already have um, so that after we leave, <laughs> that organization is set up for success for the future. To learn more about how Pride Philanthropy can help fundraise for your organization, visit their website, pridephilanthropy.com, or watch this segment again on insidetheblueprint.com. <music> Graphic design is literally everywhere you look, but creating a message that resonates with passersby requires careful consideration. Not all graphic design is created equally. 
and not all advertising mediums require the same design elements. How do you get the right message in front of the right audience? Work with a professional graphic designer. We work with a range of industries spanning from small uh, mom and pop shops all the way up through major corporations. Uh, so I needed signs, posters, banners, uh, business cards, pens, cups. Um, JDC has printed literally anything that I've asked for. For most businesses, there are millions upon millions of products that can be custom printed. Everything from keychains and koozies through t-shirts and signs and banners, uh, the, the list is infinite. You can't drive down the street without seeing custom prints. It takes a lot of time and energy to set a job up to, to start printing it. Once, once a job is set and ready to print, the number of items that you print is, can be almost limitless at that point. The, the problem with that is short runs, special events, and, and even samples, it's very difficult to, to make a one-off cost effectively for someone to, to show off. Um, we utilize some of the latest and greatest hardware uh, and software that really allows us to create full color digital prints in a very small scale or short run. That's what really attracted me to JDC was to be able to have different types of options because a lot of these big stores they want you to buy so much in bulk when JDC can you know do whatever you like whatever you desire. Jones Design Company also leverages its more than 15 years experience in graphic design and background in IT services. This ensures clients maintain consistent messaging across a multitude of advertising spaces, including the web and digital canvases. E-commerce and IT are definitely at an all-time high and still growing. Uh, and what that's really done is allowed us to expand our offerings to help businesses that are breaking into these digital platforms. And their showroom is amazing. Our showroom is filled with hundreds of different vinyl and color options. Uh, everything from samples for customers to try on to the materials that we'll actually place on shirts that they can see, you know, and hold and touch prior to making a decision about which direction they want to go. Uh, so when I walk into JDC, you know, it's full of bright colors. Uh, if you're having a bad day, you'll have a great day when you walk inside of this place. It's difficult to convey these colors online. Uh, having a showroom really helps people get a feel for what it is they're gonna be purchasing. And the best part is that they service both wholesale and retail clients. See, anything that you see or can hold in your hand can be printed on, can be personalized. And JDC has helped me tremendously in that aspect and has really grown my business to the next level. For more information about Jones Design Company or to explore career opportunities at SEC, visit gojdc.com and of course visit our website at insidetheblueprint.com. Founded over 30 years ago, Anissa International is recognized as a global authority on makeup and skincare brushes. Brands that work with them know why they're the best. Now you will too. Hi, my name is Anissa and I'm the founder and CEO of Anissa International. We design, create and manufacture makeup brushes for the beauty industry. Makeup brushes are a big part of a beauty routine and odds are one of our brushes is in your purse or in your vanity and you've been using Anissa brushes without knowing it. They prioritize innovation, high quality and responsible manufacturing. Not all makeup brushes are made the same and we really pride ourselves on being conscientious in how we will impact the environment, how our workers, our operators will create the brushes for you. So as a a mindful manufacturer of makeup brushes, we are gonna ensure that anything that we design, create, manufacture has been done at the utmost quality. We made it a priority for us to remove any type of animal products in our brushes. And that took real innovation, real focus on design, because we wanted to make sure we were not reducing the quality. So man-made fibers now are just as good as animal products. And now we can be more sustainable, cruelty-free, and ensure that whatever touches your face, no one or nothing was harmed. Regarding innovation. There are three parts to the brush that are really important. The first part is the head shape. 
does that head shape perfectly pick up the products, the foundations, the powders, the eyeshadows? You have the connector, which is a ferrule, and that is usually made of aluminum, and we wanna make sure we create that in the most sustainable way possible and do not negatively impact the environment, and then you have a handle. It can be made from wood or plastic or aluminum. It all is up to the brand and what they think is best and how it will really help the consumer to maximize that application. So the design of brushes came from the idea of the artist palette. Makeup brushes are what creates our canvas every day. So you are creating this work of art when you use your brushes. And we want you to be adventurous, we want you to be creative, we want you to be bold, we want you to be brave, and we want you to understand that a brush is your ally, it's your friend, and it's gonna make you feel great. And when it comes to quality, we put our brushes through rigorous quality standards. There are so many steps we will take before we ship the brushes to the stores to ensure they are going to last because we know it's an investment that you're making. They're also dedicated to the community. In the world that we live today, it is more important than ever that we align with our business partners. And that means through sustainability, through giving back, and to really paying attention to equality in everything that we do. So, and I know our partners truly appreciate that. What's been so exciting about the beauty industry and why I have been so drawn to it and committed to it and why my team also is so passionate about it is that beauty is for an individual. It's an emotional connection. It is something that brings out our creativity, our confidence. So when you have a really great brush and it works with your makeup, it is it's the best experience. It's like being an artist every day. For more information about how Anisa International can help grow your brand, visit their website, anisa.com. And of course, visit our website, insidetheblueprint.com. Thanks for watching Inside the Blueprint. For more information on any of the products you saw today or to find out how to become part of the show, please visit InsideTheBlueprint.com.